Hi, we are going to show you some steps to get the input parameters of a CLAD speech synthesizer. First, we are going to record audio with Audacity, then analyze this audio within Snorri, and then synthesize the audio from a command line version of the CLAD synthesizer. So, basically, I got Audacity from the websites, this beta version, and I'm going to open it up where is it here and record some speech so hello hello if you look at the sampling rate it's 44 thousand hertz and I want to use 16 so I choose 16 then I'm going to close it hello 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 and you can see that by default it records in stereo so I want to move that back to mono but first let me clean this with ctrl K and then record something like eu hoje vou para casa com minha avó and I can move from stereo to mono and then I'm going to close these guys and export to a wave file so I'm going to so I'm saving as wave signed 16 bits so I can play you cannot listen. And now I'm going to open Wins Nori. So basically, if I go here, I found this guy. Let me open also the directory where it's found. So if I open the WAV fi file, you are going to see that many options are not enabled so I don't have a registered version because the site's not working so you can see it's not registered but the registration is not working on the website I found that if you go files, news, zero and then put some number here any number works everything becomes enabled, all the options include the CLAD synthesizer interface that we are interested in so if I go back then open my previous file now I can play it and also open the format interface I mean the CLAD interface so now that I have this interface organized here I'm going to first first go cop synthesis format tracking tracking and I'm going to choose from scratch and the software is now computing the formats to me and you can see the tracks from F1 up to F6 we can correct these tracks manually but I'm going to use whatever I got from the procedure so I'm going to go back and get F0 now so now I have to select all of them and then go cup synthesis and again cup synthesis and I know everything is working if I get this interface this small frame here and it has to go up to 100% so basically the software is calculating the parameters automatically for me and when it finishes okay it's sometimes it gives some warning messages and if I say okay it usually finishes properly so now if I go and press synthesize I can hear the sounds you cannot but besides we can save the synthesized speech so I'm going to say synth one wave and I'm gonna also 
save the input parameters. So I'm going to use the extension KLA. And now I'm done with this, I can go to our third step that requires synthesize the audio with a command line version that comes with Insnori. So if you remember, I opened the file where Insnori was installed and you have this directory called CLADS. If you go inside, you can find an executable the open the sources also and I want to use this guy so I'm going to copy this directory call and then you can see here the executable so from the documentation there is a command line I'm going to open the documentation at the Winsnori website if you go down you're going to find how Winsnori can be used, this link and then if you go down you can find the description of using the CLAD synthesizer here this graphical interface for the CLAD synthesizer so taking a look you can get lots of information and also from this CLAT directory you have this HTML file if you open it up then going down there are some examples of how to use the So I'm copying down all this and change to my I think the name is Synth Synth one from KLA and I'm going to change the output file to Synth one so to avoid confusion oops I forgot I'm going to call it synth command line one dot raw so now if I open this directory you can see this dot raw that was generated by the synthesizer from it, this command line interface if I go back to Audacity and go import raw data now if I open it up and choose 16 bits big engine here it's 16,000 Hertz import so I can listen you cannot but basically everything now is finished because you have now this file I'm going to change this extension to text just to open it up and this is the input parameters according to this description because they were modified from the original uh, input parameter file but it's easy to see how the the new format is organized for example it added time and you can easily get F0 etc. I use this default uh, configuration that's based on use the parallel branch instead of the cascade branch.